Well, hello there, it's Alex Gem yet again. I know you miss me, right? So what we're looking at in this video is the importance of novelty in terms of doing new things on a continual basis. So in this particular video, I'm referring primarily to exercise, body shape goals, your health, your energy, these sort of things, but it's totally applicable to all different areas of your life. Your wealth, your relationships, your, your investments, your, your hobbies, in every department, this is pertinent. So let's bring it back a notch and let's, let's tie it into fitness, your health, your body. So the, what I'm saying is, as it relates to your exercise program, I would like you to change it up every few weeks. Whatever you're doing now, take a moment to reflect on how, what your exercise program is like, whether it's been the same for a long period of time. And by the same, I mean the, the type of exercises, how many sets you do, how much you rest between sets, your physical environment when you exercise. Is it always at one spot, one gym? Do you go for a run down the park? Do you travel to different destinations or visit different gyms? Uh, do you train in your in your garage or somewhere else? Do you train? Whom do you train with? On your own? Are you used to training on your own? Well, start training with other people as well. Challenge yourself. Step outside of your comfort zone. Because, you know, one of the reasons why I love doing this is that I'm not only going to help transform your body, but I'm also going to help to transform your mind and take all areas of your life to the next level. Because what happens is when you change your exercise program, firstly, you, you benefit physically, right? Um, because when you say you do boxing, you are know, used to doing a certain workout when you box. If you do that for a certain amount of weeks, what happens is your, your brain goes on autopilot when you're doing it. You, you think less, it becomes so easy. The, the movements, the coordination, everything functions better, right? You're, you've created certain pathways in your brain, your brain is it, it, easily triggered, okay? Which makes the workouts easier. If the workouts are easier, you think you're doing really, really well in the gym, but your body has become so used to it now that it's no longer being challenged as much, okay? So what I'm saying is you need to change your workout in order to stimulate your brain, be more creative with your workouts, challenge your body. This is why if someone went to, so one of my strengths when I go to the gym is, well, boxing. I love to box. That's great. But if you took, put me in, into uh, a race, a marathon race, I'm going to struggle because it's not my forte necessarily. But if you take that marathon running and make them box or do some explosive movements, they're going to really struggle. But that's good. We're looking for that challenge. We're looking for that struggle. That's how you're going to improve and transform your physical body. Now, the reason why I want you to talk about this as well is that when you change your workouts and so on and so forth, you also stimulate what's called neurogenesis. This is the key to everything, guys. It's the key to getting smart. Well, let me say what it is first. So neurogenesis is, is the creation of new neurons, new cells in your brain. It enables you to formulate new connections. It enables you to come up with new beliefs, new emotions, per, you know, uh, believe that you're capable of achieving different things. It could be the reason why you are improving in your life and you've got a growth mindset and you're challenging yourself and you love to learn. It's because you're stimulating neurogenesis on a regular basis. However, if you're someone who's been stuck in their lives for many years now, you want to change your job, but you haven't quite changed it. You want to uh, leave a partner because you know the relationship's not healthy, but you're still in that relationship, or any other avenues in your life. If you haven't changed things, it's because you're not stimulating neurogenesis. You're living the same life. You're stuck in the past. And we're going to stimulate neurogenesis by, in a plethora of different ways. I wasn't meant to go through this in this video, but let me just give you a few. Uh, sleeping well will help protect your current neurons, making sure you're not overtraining, that can ruin your neurons, making sure you're not experiencing emotional turmoil or trauma, um, how else, making sure you're not uh, flooding your body with oxidative stress, you're looking after your body, you've got, you're eating a, a diet rich in antioxidants and these sort of things. Um, you can stimulate neurogenesis by utilizing neuroplasticity, gaining new skills, gaining new insights, changing your exercise programs, like I'm saying. Um, everything, just uh, shifting your skills, loving to learn, uh, challenging yourself in, in a multitude of ways. There are certain supplements that can help um, help your, your brain function, you, the neurotransmitters, how they wire. See, there's, there's a reason why I didn't want to go into this. It's too much. Uh, I'll do it in another video in proper detail for you. But we want to stimulate neurogenesis because it will make you smarter. 
it will improve your mood, it will affect your body, which is the main reason of this video, that's the whole point of what I'm sharing with you. Um, it can lead to improvements, progress in your life as it relates to your finances, your relationships, uh, your skills, your self-esteem. Yeah, it's going to affect your self-esteem positively. So we're after neurogenesis. So this is why I advocate changing your situation. Now, if you like the material that I'm sharing with you and you want to know more, make sure you check out my website at www.alexgem.com. Make sure you like this video. It's, it's an amazing video, guys. And make sure you check out this book. It's wonderful. One of the, what I'm talking about here, many of these ideas derive from this book and it's, it's just incredible. I'm so proud of it. But anyways, uh, I'm not quite finished with you yet. Uh, I want you to change your physical environment. especially as it relates to where you train, where you exercise. Because what happens is if you always train at, say, a certain gym, what happens is when you always walk into this gym and you train a certain way, whether it be on your own or in certain classes, if you're familiar with it, then what happens is when you go to certain environments, it triggers um, an automatic response. It triggers your unconscious. You kind of go on autopilot. You still might have conscious thoughts, um, but it triggers your unconscious. It triggers a certain state, is what I'm saying. And if it triggers a certain state all the time, then are you going to be changing? Are you going to be able to push through your barriers? What I'm essentially saying here, to cut it short, is by changing your physical environment, it enables you to come up with new pathways in your brain. You'll be able to maybe push yourself when doing certain exercises even more than you would have if you did it in the same environment. You'll be able to come up with new beliefs that go, you know what, I am improving in my life, or I do enjoy exercise, I thought I hated exercise, I love it. Like you'll come up with new beliefs, new thought patterns, new emotions, you create new states, more supportive states. And this is what we're after, guys. We're looking for a change. I'm looking to change you. I know it sounds terrifying, but that's, that's what progress leads to. If you're looking to change something, change your body, change your, your limitations, change your beliefs, you're going to change your personality. I know it sounds scary. Oh, I don't want to change who I am. Yes, everyone's going to have that initial knee-jerk reaction because we're, we're programmed biologically to be afraid of change, afraid of the unknown. But don't fear because uh, that's the way to progress. That's the way to become happy um, and to really, really uh, make the most of our lives. So challenge yourself, do new things, experience new things, and uh, take your brain and your body to the next level. Again, if you really like this course, if you really like this course, see, that's what, you, that's what I've got in my brain. This course, you have to check out my course. Go to my website, www.alexgem.com. The course is called SPM. Um, the videos, the content, the worksheets that I have included, it's going to blow your mind. The level of detail, sophistication, and it's stuff that people aren't talking about, guys. That's what I love about my material. It's very hard to find and it really digs deep. It goes beyond just what exercises to do and how, what to eat and these sort of things. We're going deep. I'm looking to change who you are and help you to transform the quality of your life.